Of the nation's 72 fusion centers are located in Florida. Those are centers that were created in the aftermath of 9 11 to correct failures in the sharing of intelligence and other information. From our exclusive Tallahassee Bureau, Mike Vasilinda tells us there is more information available to analysts than ever before. On September 11, 2001, then-Governor Jeb Bush and other elected state officials were at a regular cabinet meeting at an irregular location, an obscure state building several miles north of the Capitol. News of the attacks was first relayed by a reporter. That information flow is not likely to happen again. Florida see something, say something, this line may be recording. In the 10 years since the attacks, Florida has built an elaborate intelligence center to gather and share information. There are a lot of secure databases. Um, the analysts would then go, go through all of those. We have a checklist of things that we would do. With a few keystrokes, elaborate profiles can be assembled. What happens next is one of the biggest changes in 10 years. Numerous state and federal agencies share this fusion center to exchange intelligence. This is an office for the FBI, and right next to it, Homeland Security. And across the hall, the only place in the building where secure information can be exchanged. Because far more information is being collected today than ever before, it has raised concerns for privacy advocates. But Florida's Homeland Security Advisor says the information is protected. If it isn't valid information or isn't information uh, that is pertinent to furthering our investigative or intelligence needs, we discard that information immediately. What officials say hasn't changed in the last decade is the need for average citizens to be aware of their surroundings and to be willing to report suspicious activity. In Tallahassee, Mike Vasilinda, WPTV News Channel 5. The Intelligence Center receives over 5,000 calls per month.